Welcome back. Let's talk about another fun topic, and that is getting a raise. How do we go about doing this? Getting a raise is hopefully not that hard. Because remember, if somebody hired you, that means they find you valuable. But in order to get a raise, you have to be a good employee. If you're a terrible employee, you don't do your work on time, you don't provide good quality work, then getting a raise is not realistic. So the first step is to actually be a good employee. And hopefully because you're taking this course, you are the type of person who really values their skills and has a strong self-determined work ethic. I mean, you're teaching yourself how to ace the interviews. You're definitely the type of person who's determined to succeed. So that's a good sign. And when you start a job, you want to hit the ground running. The better you are as the employee, the more likely you are for them to keep you around. And one thing that I really like to do before you start a job is to plan out your career path ahead of time at this company before your first day on the job. And this should be in the back of your mind throughout your career. This way you have an idea of where you want to be in one, two, three, maybe five years at the company. And you can check up on that to make sure that you don't become complacent. You don't just stay in the same role and not grow and just become comfortable. But anyway, let's talk about getting a raise. How do we do it? Well, luckily for you, there are just two steps that we're going to go over. First things first is that getting a raise is one of the easiest ways to earn money. You know how we all try to save money by not buying a coffee, buying gasoline for our car when the gas is cheaper. But those are really good ways to save money. But getting a raise and getting paid more is just an easier way for you to have more money. So it's a very, very important thing. The first step that we want to do is to actually ask for a raise. I know it's a silly point to have, but you have no idea how many times people say, oh, my company doesn't really do raises. Or people thinking that by asking for a raise, they are considered rude and they're going to get fired especially as an engineer. At the end of the day, you'll get a raise if you provide value to the company. If you never ask, the answer is always no. For example, $10,000 means a lot more to you than it does to a company because, well, they have a lot more money than you. So think about it this way. If you owned a business and you had an employee that is fantastic, great, would you pay them $10,000 more on top of their salary just out of the kindness of your heart? I mean, you might, but most likely you're not going to unless they ask. But if they ask, you value them, right? Finding a new employee to do the work, to train them, and, and hopefully be as good as you are, is going to cost your business a lot of money. You're not going to say no to a, let's say, 10% increase in their salary because it means a lot less to you. So keep that in mind. For companies, hiring and training people is really expensive. They rather keep the good employees that they have. It's a lot cheaper to do so. So always ask for a raise. All companies, if you provide enough value, should have the capacity to give you raises. But here's the thing, and this is the second part. You have to show, don't tell. You can't just say, I'm valuable, can I have more money? You actually want to show them why you're valuable. Let me explain. When asking for a raise, you don't just go in and ask for it. You want to make a presentation, maybe a one-page summary, a document perhaps, or an email, to your boss, offering proof that you're driving the metrics, the numbers that matter to them. This way you show your great investment and you show the numbers, the stories, the reason why you should get a raise. If you don't have a reason and you just want a raise and you just say that, it doesn't make sense. So hopefully you're a good employee, a good engineer, and you're contributing to the company. And at the end of the day, there's no easy way around it. What you're going to do is during your first months at the job, I would personally keep a folder with all the good things you have done for the company. And this is something that I've done myself as well. Problems you have solved, money you've saved, great comments or feedbacks you have gotten from clients and coworkers, emails, and perhaps keep track of your skill level from the first day on the job to the six months mark. What did you learn? What did you improve on? List all these skills you have acquired and list what you plan to accomplish in the next six months. Write this all out in a document. By writing a one-page letter showing example of this, proof of how good of an employee you are, what you've learned, what your plans are for the next six months to improve the company. Now you have a way to meet with the person in charge of making the salary decision and actually give them this piece of document that shows why you deserve a higher salary, why you're a different person than you were when they first hired you, when they didn't know that you were going to be valuable. And finally, you want to ask for a salary level a lot higher than you actually want. So a good general rule is 
10,000 more than you actually want. Because most likely they're going to meet you in the middle and this will make the middle the happy ground for both parties. Okay, and I know what you're thinking. It's not going to work, Andre. It may have worked for you, but not, not for me. And this sounds very blunt. Some people are worried about asking raises and it's an uncomfortable situation. But let me ask you this. If both employer and employee respect each other, value each other, shouldn't this be normal to find a middle ground where both parties are happy? After all, look at all the good that you have done for them. Like I said before, it's very expensive for companies to hire new developers, new engineers. You are already established yourself. You've proven yourself and you've done a great job with the company. They want to keep you around. Value yourself because they value you. To finish off, I just want to give an example of a little story of how I managed to get raises. On my previous job, I got a raise every six months. And it wasn't because they just gave it to me. It's because I asked for a raise every six months. And every six months, I received a raise. As a matter of fact, one time, I got a raise that, well, I wasn't happy with. And I said, why? I thought it should be more. And they actually agreed and came back and gave me an even higher raise. And that story is not just for me to boast and show off, but to show you that it's possible. You have to ask. If you never ask, the answer is always no. Show why you deserve the raise, and you'll be surprised at how easy it is to do so. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>